Do digital pianos dream of acoustic strings? Today we're talking about the downside of digital pianos. Stick around. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, like our videos, leave us comments. We appreciate your support and we love to interact with you. This is the, this is the world we live in. We have VR headsets, we have dating apps, we have... Piano apps. Piano apps, almost the, it's, it's... It's a digital age. We've lost, is it the human touch? Is the, the real touch? It's, it's something. There's, there's not a lot of warmth out there anymore. Well, because everything is digital. It's precise, it's clear. It's and it, and it, it has its accurate. tremendous upsides. And so we'll, we'll, focus, we'll focus today on pianos because I don't, I don't want to get into a, a philosophical debate well, on, yeah, on right. where we you are. Know, and the one thing that I always say about digital pianos is, is really an untrue statement. Mm -hmm. okay? I always say there's no vibration. Okay, and that can't be true because the speakers are vibrating, moving air to where you can hear it. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at it and think, how can I explain this instrument as a non-instrument? Because what is it, what moves inside it vibrates that is made louder by the instrument that is musical. Okay, and mm -hmm. so, well, there's a computer sample in there. That's, that's literally the sound, is that you're getting a reproduction of something that's already been Produced. So, so your big thing is it's not a musical instrument, it's a sound producer. That it, It's a sound producer. But I'm not knocking it as a functional instrument. Mm -hmm. Okay, What I'm saying is that if you're a person that likes to touch the keys and feel the vibration coming back through it, and you want to feel that one with the instrument, it's hard to do on a digital because you don't really get that vibration. Well, there's no strings actually moving. There's no soundboard that's I mean, that's if flowing. you read the comments on some of our other videos, mm -hmm. it's, it's real bottom line. A digital piano, okay, the only ones that are like some guys, the hardcore guys that give us comments, the only ones that are any good are the real expensive ones. And it's like, I have to agree, why is that? Because the thing vibrates, it's more like a real piano. Mm -hmm. It's not too loud. That's my biggest problem with, with, with digitals is they're always not the right tone, not the right volume. It's always not, it's like a piano, but some notes are louder than others. And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's not, it's not like a, an old, Acoustic, and and yeah. it's interesting because today we're we're in an age where we're really trying to attack that attack the uh, this is you know just a recording a reproduction and so we've gotten into modeling. Well, we've got modeling done. We've got like uh, perfecting the pedals, mm -hmm. you know, for the soft pedal and the sustained pedal, even the sustenuto pedal. All those functions you can assign more functions to a pedal. They're they're. A hell of a lot more practical than an acoustic mm -hmm. piano, and they've built actions in them. So we, we behind oh, hell, us, they're always in tune. Yeah, that's never a case with a spinet or, or any acoustic instrument. They're not always in tune. So, I mean, there's tons of things to love about a digital mm -hmm. piano, and I always think of them as a skill making machine. That's what a digital piano is to me, a skill making machine where you can get the skill of memorizing piano literature, get the skill of doing your scales, do all of that in headphones at a controlled volume and really acquire a lot of skills that you're going to use on a performance on a real acoustic instrument. So it'd be like a flight simulator with exactly. all the actual... That's what I've called them. I've called them grand piano simulators. The better you can make that thing to sitting at, at like a, mm -hmm. and, you know, in a flight simulator at the grand piano in control, the more realistic it's so, going to feel to the to the musician inside it. So with that analogy, it's it's uh, the hybrid world. Is is we we decided to pick this Yamaha, this NU1 that, that's behind us, um, which is part of their hybrid series. Um, but it's it's uh, it's like pulling the cockpit out of a out of a plane and putting a simulator where you you have the actual controls that what it would feel like. This has an actual piano action in it. You know, Yamaha makes the, the NU series. Kawhi makes uh, the NV series right. that has the NV10, the NV5. Um, and it's so realistic feeling. Well, a lot of people use flight simulators on their home computer. Mm -hmm. That's a lot different than if you could go to a phenomenal arcade mm -hmm. where they closed you into a box and 
it if you moves. just flew it, well, when it moves, like you're going down in that box and you can feel the gravity pulling you because you can't, I mean, mm -hmm. you're looking at one image and you're feeling the box going like this or going like, it's like, it really feels like you're flying. But is the air actually to, fighting you? No, there isn't any of that, but it feels like mm -hmm. it, okay? So it's a skill making machine. As yeah. a matter of fact, they qualify on those machines. Yeah. They learn so well. And that, that to me, I think is the route that digital pianos need to go in. You want to make some fast players, Put a permanent screen on there with a permanent program called this Beginner's Piano, and it's got, you know, when you finish that, you're playing top level Scott Joplin and, mm -hmm. and beyond. Yeah, so so that is one, you know, the downside of not having the real thing. And and I think there's something, I don't I don't know if that's just like a, a an archaic like thing that's in. Well, then let me give you an analogy. I know a lot of piano players, and they're real big on this as much as guitar players are. They believe that the soul of the instrument is in the wood. And the songs that they're going to create and the music they're going to make is going to come out of the soul, not just of the materials mm -hmm. and the fabric, but the souls of all the workers that built that thing. We're dreaming of all the music. So when they sit down to play, and if I told you some of the people that told me these stories, you'd be shocked because you wouldn't see them as those kind of players. Mm -hmm. But they actually believe the soul of all the resources and all the people that worked on it come out when you play. There's trees. And know, as a they, human, I yeah. want to say... I love that story. Mm -hmm. I like believing that, especially when you're by yourself in a nice place with a great piano. Well, vibrations too, we've talked about this in other yes. videos, but the vibrations the of, of the instrument are, if when they're organic vibrations, it's, 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 uh, it's more natural. There's imperfection in it right. and, and it sounds authentic. You know, like the, you know, the most, the art that people are, are drawn to isn't usually, uh, some beautiful, you know, like, and this is something to be proven in the future, but, uh, you know, virtual, you know, when someone makes a beautiful photoshopped image that's, you know, all digitally made um, or like digital effects and You movies, can tell it's too perfect. It's too perfect. And, uh, and some people appreciate the vulnerability found in the imperfections of an artist. And so, you know, you, you pay more money for like the one of a kind. And, and here we are today and there's NFTs trying to make one of a kind digital things, but, right. but it, it feels wrong. <laughs> well, the other thing too, it feels wrong. That's very mm -hmm. important. And uh, I was thinking about, because now we have modeling, we have sampling, we have all these things. And I don't know if you've ever played one of those guitars that you can, um, it's got computer chips in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can flip a switch on it and it quits being this vibrational instrument and it becomes like a, um, a sampling triggering device. Mm -hmm. And so you, just by the flip of a switch, you get an open banjo tuning. And I play a lot on open banjo tuning on a mm -hmm. guitar. When you play one of these modeling guitars and you alter the tuning on it and you're playing this, it doesn't feel right because the tensions don't match the sound. Mm -hmm. If you play enough, you recognize these tensions don't match the sound. And I actually played a guitar that had six strings on it and they were all equal. They were all perfectly balanced and none of them were tuned. They didn't make a sound. They just picked up the vibration. When you strummed on that thing, it's like, well, it's like a guitar, but it's really phony baloney because it didn't feel right here. But you're doing the correct fingering, you're, you're doing the right Correct strumming. fingering, correct strumming, everything. Even the vibration, there's no vibration coming off that one. Mm -hmm. But on the other ones, the vibrations, you're feeling like ding, ding, you know how sometimes you can hear an electric? Mm -hmm. Those are all wrong. So, Those are all the wrong notes that you're, but it's coming, it's sounding out right. So not, so not to be a dead horse here, but so the vibrations are one of the big downsides, in your opinion, to the digital. biggest downside to digital and, pianos. And I'll real quick, hit on the second point that that i believe is uh you know no one today or very few people today are using a uh a computer made in 1997 or in 2007 even um or a phone that came out in 2001 um and or watching television on a television a that, that was built in the 80s yeah right. and and it's not that nobody's doing it but it, it's definitely lost its uh, what what made it great has been has been updated or has um, it's it's just it's it's had its shelf life um, and uh, and I can't help but but look at keyboards from 15 years ago look at keyboards from 20 years ago and see them as on their way out they've 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 had their shelf life um, it's hard to look at these incredible instruments that are coming out today that cost five thousand six thousand um, dollars more. Uh, and and imagine a future that like you know this you know this it almost on its way out. almost limitless uh, sampling modeling all these incredible technology packed in Bluetooth enabled touchscreens 
uh, wooden actions, so such a strive, striving for perfection. Um, there's just, there's just like a, I, history can't be beat. You know, it's, it's like you've seen this over and over again. CB radio. Yeah, and 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 uh, you know, we're, it's just one of those one-way doors where it's like technology always advances. Um, and so, what will these things? You know, they function as a very good keyboard and yeah, function. Great learning device. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal skill-making machine. That's what I call them. And not only that, it's great. I, as much downside as I put on that. It is nothing like the privacy of putting on headphones and having the whole world leave you alone while you concentrate on what you're doing. Yeah. You can practice better. You can dream better. You can imagine better. You can probably write better. But the whole time that I'm thinking how great and useful this is, I can't wait to get on a real instrument and see what it sounds like. So let's take a listen to this fantastic instrument, the NU1. Uh, We're going to show you how incredible a digital piano can be. Um, and uh, according, uh, you know, just having the the option to plug directly into this and pull the sound right off is one of the incredible things about this. So we're going to take a listen to how far we've come, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the Vibrations. downsides. <laughs> All right, thank you. It sounds incredible. So, what are manufacturers doing to, to, to you know, to counteract these downsides that we've talked about? You know, the vibration uh, equation well, this, and the uh, and you know technology equation. This goes back to some of the comments that we've received off other videos where a guy says the best digitals or the only good digitals are the real expensive ones, and I have to kind of agree because on those models the manufacturers build in vibration. They, they know that you're not going to get a buzz off of playing the piano if the keys aren't buzzing. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the Yamaha models and the Kawhi models, um, not only do they have phenomenal sounds in them and phenomenal samples, they put in a vibration mode so that when you're playing that piano and your foot is on the sustain pedal or on uh, the soft pedal, you feel that instrument mm-hmm. through vibrations coming through your feet and your fingertips and naturally you're getting a sound out of your ear. So that is a lot more convincing of it being a real instrument. And then you also see like soundboards being added to these and, and you know, further turning a vibration and, into... And the removal of speakers. Mm-hmm. They're just putting transducers, the, the yeah. transducer up in there and using the wood as the soundboard. And so, you know, it's it, they're, close, they're trying to close that gap of, of you know, the stigma of, of a digital instrument versus an acoustic one. Um, and with the technology side of things, you see uh, you see people making really incredible MIDI controllers um, and downloading software and right. using updated software and things like that. You know, 
trying to solve the I can always keep updating this side of it and have right. and have a have a uh, you know a great recording of an you instrument. You went out and bought the greatest software package for acoustic pianos today, and you played it through a ten year old or fifteen year old MIDI device. You're going to be limited mm -hmm. because that software package is made to pick up a lot more nuances than that MIDI controller can provide it. Mm -hmm. So there is a definite future for all kind, all things sampled and all things digital. Mm -hmm. But the perfection of that digital instrument is going to be where it actually emulates everything that an acoustic instrument gives you back. And there is a lot to be said about the field of vibration that's created through an upright piano with the strings moving or a grand piano with the mm -hmm. strings moving. It encompasses the player and it gives you a vibrational feel that makes it a lot easier to sing with. So we'll end on this. Will digital ever replace acoustic entirely? I don't know about entirely, but it already has in practicality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the equation. It's, it's, uh, is it more practical um, or do, are you not willing to sacrifice on certain Loving a digital piano yeah. over its practicality is probably what it was designed for besides beating costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so please leave your comments. I know uh, that was uh, very in depth on some, you know, vibrations and, and the passion here of Ted and, and I. It's it's, you know, music music is is something to be enjoyed and it's something that you know you can always spend more money on something, but is it going to help you enjoy it more? Well, it's nice to to understand it so you can explain it to other people. Well, I've been playing a real piano my whole life. Well, you're going to notice a few things different. This one's going to always sound perfect. Yeah, and so please leave some comments. Let us know your thoughts on the digital, the downsides of digital, digital versus acoustic, all, all that. We'd love to hear it, um, and, uh, you know, let's discuss. Even your upsides. We mm -hmm. want to hear those, too. And Ted's already said that he'll go back in and, and comment on some of these because he wants I'm to... He wants to discuss this. This is, you know, something near and dear to your heart, um, which is, you know, a vibration that keeps our body alive, I think. Yeah, it does. And so thank you guys for watching. This is Ted Barcelona. I'm Patrick Marr with Alamo Music. Find us online at alamomusic.com. Please subscribe to watch more great content like this, and we'll keep making you guys some awesome videos. Mm -hmm.